common, uh, and now we're here for this grade one with common power. We can, I mean, we're the fourth favorite. We're the fourth favorite. We can actually win this race today with common power, which is crazy. Let's go through the field. It's just, just three races. We're the favorite. We didn't win the single one. Like, ugh, that's so frustrating. The eight horses, white stage, is the favorite in today's field. Nine is formal soul. Ten is great breeze. Eleven is kinky crow. Twelve is gentle mood. Usa. The one is single pride. Two is dear son. Three is fine saint. Four is kinky bell. Five is ardent knight. Six formal bell. We're on the seven common power. Favorite is the eight right next to us white stage. I know how to win. You guys have seen me win. Why I'm just blowing it today, I don't know. I'm not getting good starts. I'm not getting my horses established where, they, where they're most comfortable. That's on me. That's on me for whatever reason. I just need to focus up. All right, let's focus up. Good start here. Good start. Good start. Good start. Not a great start, but we'll take it. Okay, I'm pushing them to the front. I'm pushing them to the front. I'm pushing them to the front. I'm pushing you to the front. All right. This is what I should have been doing all the other races to get my horses where they wanted to be, and I did not do it. Now, that's on me. Uh, who's the favorite today? White Stage? Okay. Right behind us. Man, that's three races we were the favorite, and we lost all of them. Like, oh, that's so frustrating. That's I asked for my horses to be in ideal races, and I get them in an ideal race, and we do not win. Like, that's, that's, just, that's just kind of a bummer, man. That's on me, though. I, I didn't run those races well, for whatever reason. I, I, I can't even tell you why. All right, let's get going now. Let's get going now. Come on, Common. That, those horses got going really soon. You can outrun them. We need an in-the-money finish here today. In-the-money finish. Come on. Come on. Yep, they gassed out. They gassed out. The rest of the field is going to catch. But, man, fifth, sixth. Sixth is the best we can do. Seventh? Wow. I thought we would have finished a lot better than that. We got started later than some of the horses. I guess we got started later than all the horses that we passed on, huh? so maybe we still should have waited. White stage ended up winning. Young Mile Cup winner. This has not been a good video. I mean, we, we finished in the money, except for that race, but we've been the, we were favorites. Three out of the last four races we did. And we didn't win a single one. That's... Oh, we made it to June. We're still 10th place. Nah. Man, oh man. Goose despise speed and dirt rating drops too. See, when you when you don't win when you're supposed to win, it does drop your horses overall. So that's oh, that's disappointing. Cruel army. Let's see what she can do. She's still in good condition. Didn't finish good last time out. Six to eight furlongs. She can. Oh, Royal Cup. No crap. I think it's her second grade one we're running her in, right? Disco tap. We got to redeem ourselves with this horse, man. We, we got to get a win. She has finished in the money in every race. Six lifetime starts. She's been in the money six for six. We just got to get a win here. Six and nine furlongs on the turf, right? Let's try this race. DC? Does she like DC? Yeah. Boston or San Fran, preferably. Let's see if we can get either of those. New Orleans. And then this is grade three in DC. We'll go ahead and do this open race. All right. Probably last two races of this video. So we are just not doing well here today. Grade one competition here for Cruel Army. Like I said, I don't think she's a grade one horse, but I mean, it's kind of hard to turn down a six furlong Royal Cup, man. <sighs> let's breathe and let's see. Not good odds today, figure. Field the 12, as we do per tradition. For great ones, we go through the whole field. We're on the 12, Cruel Army. The one is Soft Crop. Two is Correct Bomb. The three is Knuckle Tanny. I've never seen that horse in this game, ever. Knuckle Tanny, does anybody remember that horse? I've, I've never, I, I recall most of these horses' names, obviously. Silent Earth is the four, but Knuckle Tanny, I've never seen that name or that horse in this game. Five is Noble Chapel, read my Watkins. Six is Smart Plan. Six, the seven is Lemon Breeze. 
Ocho. Number eight is Mad Pirate. Nueve. A nine. Flying Cupid. Yes. The ten. Fast. Oh, Fast Navy. I think Fast Navy is actually my favorite Galbraith's horse of all time. Hands down. This horse right here. Favorite horse. Fast Navy. I loved this horse growing up so much. No surprise. He is the favorite in today's field. I love that horse so much. Oh, man. I would love to get him again. I don't even know how much he would cost. But, um, yeah, the 11 is Fierce Elite. So, Fast Navy is who we're looking out for. That, that's not hard to remember at all. Literally my favorite horse in all of Galbracer. That and Kramer's King. Fast Navy and Kramer's King are both of my favorite horses. Anyways, six furlongs on the turf here in this Royal Cup. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Not a good start. Why are we not getting good starts? I feel like all of our starts have been absolutely papoo. Anyways. Um. Where's Fast Navy? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? He likes to run in the back or the front. I can't remember, to be honest. He's in the back, yeah. Fast pace. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Let's get going right now. Let's see what we're able to do. Fast Navy is going to shoot up. I think. Oh, Fast Navy's behind a line of horses. He's not going to win it. I don't think he's going to win it unless he's able to shoot through. But we can still get a money-placing finish. Come on. No, sixth place. Fast Navy didn't win, but that, was, that wasn't a good run. That wasn't a good trip. He was behind a line of horses. He wasn't going anywhere. That's a shame. That horse literally is its name. Fast Navy is a fast, sprinting horse. He did win. I am so confused. Who was that? Maybe I was looking at another horse. He did win. Okay, never mind then. Scratch everything I just said. I was clearly looking at another horse. Man, this has not been a good video. This has not been a good dip, a good video. <sighs> not even going to blame the controller. The controller is literally fine. Like Everything is functioning and it's working. Um, I'm just not racing well for whatever reason. Disco tap. Okay, we're not the favorite, unless there's no pressure. Like I said, I don't want to be the favorite, unless I'm on a horse that I know I'm going to win on. So, Disco Tap, we're not the favorite. It's a field of 12 here. We got a good gate position at gate position three. The favorite is Fresh Beer. Let's just get right into it, and this will be the last one. This will be the last one. But, man, being the favorite for three races and not winning any of them, that, that really still bothers me, man. It still bothers me. Like I said, that's why I hate being the favorite. I just don't want that pressure. I don't care if people have faith on me to win. I just don't want that pressure on myself. I will find a way to win. I will find a way. I just don't want that pressure, man. <laughs> Personally speaking, not in this game. Galbraith 2004, I'm still not wanting it as much, but when I'm on a certain horse that I know I'm going to win on, it's not a problem. In this game, it's not as, it's not the same. It's not the same, you know what I mean? It's not the same. So I really don't like being the favorite in this game. You can put me close, but this game more than Galbraith for 2004, I don't like being the favorite. But we have good odds here today with Disco Tap. We are pretty much, I think, where she wants to be fast paced, 58 and 6, opening half. Let's see what we're able to do. Alright. We're not going to start till 2. Alright, now we're going to go. Now we're going to go. We're going to catch all of them. We're going to catch all of them. She can fly, man. She can fly. She can fly. Look at this go. Look at her go. Look at her go. This is going to be another in-the-money finish, as usual. Third place. Third place. She can finish in the money every single time. Every time. Every time she can finish. Put your hands down. We didn't win squat. She can finish in the money. Every time. That was third, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who won? Fresh beer did win. Okay. Literally, seven lifetime starts in the money finishes every race. She has not finished lower than fifth in, in her career for seven lifetime starts. That win is just teasing us, man. That win is just teasing us with Disco Tap. Teasing. <sighs> is there anybody else we can race right quick? Goose to Spy. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. What's the last race that we put him in where we should have won? No, I don't remember the distance. I think it was like ten and a half or something. Oh, uh, this is the last race. Open competition. We're not even going to try to run him in that grade three. 
DC. I don't even have that as a course for him. All right, here we go. Last race. 12 lifetime starts for Goose. Let's actually look at his race record. Actually, we'll look at it after on this uh, race is over. <sighs> man. Man, oh, man. Long shot here today. He might be, because his stamina is actually not bad, he may be better at running longer distances. I may have to put him in races 10 and a half or more. 10 or more, without a shadow of a doubt. It says he can go 9, but he doesn't have the speed, really. I mean, 9 furlongs is still a mile, over a mile, but, you know. Uh, Alright, field of 12, favorite is the 3, Chili Rock. Let's look at this horse right quick. But yeah, Goose is fine, Disco Tap. I'm still thinking about breeding those two. If we can't get either, if we can't get either of them a win by the end of the year, then yeah, I'm gonna need to breed both of them to see what we can get. This is the favorite, Chili Rock, the three. Let's go. By the end of this year, we don't get a win off of Goose to Spy or Disco Tap. Breeding both of them. Goose to Spy, I think, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm still retiring this year. Regardless, I'm just just undecided on whether or not I'm gonna use him for breeding. So like I said, stamina is not bad at all. So we could still get some good distance horses out of him, but speed is gonna be speed. Speed is clearly a loss. So I don't know. All right, uh, Goose, he's comfortable, and because I don't want to be blocked, we're just gonna stay right here because I don't know what these horses are gonna do right now. They're like five wide up there in the front. I don't really have faith that they're going to... They may... I don't know what they're going to do. So like I said, I'm going to stay right here. That way if I need to move out... Okay, now they move in. But that still means I'm going to have to probably make an outside move. Because there's not a whole lot of room there on the inside. Fast pace there. 58 and 1. He doesn't have the speed. So I think i got to get him going like now. Yeah, because he does not have the speed. He doesn't have the speed, so he's got to get going from a long way away. Look at this spurt. Holy crap. Look at Goose the Spy go. Third place finish. Wow. Every time it seems like I say something that's like not exactly praising about this horse, he ends up making me shut my mouth. We were the long shot in this field. That's a money third place finish with Goose the Spy. Nice trip on the outside. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe him and Disco Tab, they're not meant to be individual horses I use long term, clearly. But I think maybe breeding them to, we can get some weird gem. We might be able to get a weird, weird specialty out of breeding both of them. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, appreciate your love and support on the channel. I did say I was going to go look at his... um his racing form so far in his 12 starts i don't know how long i think they only show us no they'll show us all his races so ninth 12th second place finish um in an open race third place finish so he's actually had back-to-back -back third place finishes um with the last two races he was in now the one at metropolitan h 11 and a half furlongs we were the favorite in that so maybe clearly he needs to, i need to put him at I'm gonna put him. That was a nine for a long race. We didn't do terrible. I'm just. I'm gonna say nine or eleven. Preferably. Seems like he may want to go the distance. Thirteen lifetime races. No wins. One second place finish. Two third place finishes. So nothing for first place yet. Uh, like I said, he's definitely not a grade three horse at all. Um. So yeah, that's his record. We'll see what we're able to do with him. Uh, for the remainder of the year, Disco Tap, we got to get a win with her. Like, look at, like, and her results seven lifetime races, two second place finishes, one third place finish, but in the money for every race. She's only came in fifth twice. Everything else has been lower, has been uh, better than fifth. So, you know, she can run in grade three. She can run in grade three. She's finished fourth and fifth, but preferably open. We got to get a win with her. We got to get a win with her, man, at some point. Disco Tap, we got to get a win with her. But like I said, worst comes to worst, I breed her and Goose to Spy. And see what happens. Maybe we'll get a decent horse out of the both of them. That would be that'd be hilarious. We'll see. Anyways, like I said, appreciate the love and support. Until next time, though, horse racing gamers and out. I'll be over green. Fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.